All right, people, welcome back. Daily Duels, I haven't seen you guys in forever. Hello? <laughs> it's been a while. How are y'all doing today? I am doing fine. I am doing fine. You know, we got a lot to talk about, and I'm going to be talking while using the Volcanic. So I changed the deck around. Um, I put in one more discard outlet. So besides Karma Cut, the card I want to try is the Divine Wrath. I want to try Divine Wrath because I was uh, watching uh, Nim Nim's deck profile of his... Um, uh, what is the deck? Uh, Burning Abyss. And he said that, you know, Divine Wrath is just the, the tits. And I was, I, you know what? I, I forgot about Divine Wrath. I, I can't lie. I forgot that card existed. I was just like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking like, well, I need another discard outlet. You know, I'm just like, you know, Karma Cut, yeah, you know, and, you know, Fingers Swing with Blast, yeah. And I'm just like, you know, I'm like, I need, I need, I need one more. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and activate that in pitch you, draw a card, then you'll get destroyed, which is totally fine, because now you're in the graveyard, I can go ahead and just, you know, wipe his shit whenever I'm good and ready, you know? No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, whenever I'm good and ready. Uh, for Fire and Ice Hand, I know I said I was gonna just run pure Fire Hand, that's not efficient, you know, if you're gonna run the Fire Hand and Ice Hand, so I'm running three Fire Hand, two Ice Hand. So, at least, you know, they can go Fire Hand, Ice Hand, to Fire Hand, to Ice Hand, to Fire Hand, and then, uh, I can go ahead and put the all the fire hands back with uh, him. So that's pretty much the gist of it right now. So we'll go ahead and submit fire hand. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot on my mind. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I recorded, I recorded like double because I wanted to go ahead and try out the new Dragon Ball Z game. Uh, you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I almost said Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. It's Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's okay. It's, an, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent game, I must say. Uh, I'm not going to... Oh, wait. I can go ahead and activate Shell. Forgot about Shell. Activate Shell. Shell will get me a Shell. And then I can set the Phoenix Woman Blast and play it when I'm getting ready. There we go. I was like, I don't have a card that, you know, can get me... You know, I don't want to pitch my Royal. My Royal. So I'm just like, what the hell can I pitch? I'm like, oh, Shell. So I can go ahead and pitch Shell. Phoenix Woman Blast. That's kind of like a... It's kind of like weird Burning Abyss. Alright, that's fine. Um hold on, yes. How many do I got? I got one, two, three. Ah, uh, da, 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 da 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 I'm trying to think right now. Yes, I am totally. I'm thinking about going Phoenix Moon Blast, pitch it, spin that back, and then Okay. I was thinking about, I don't know why point quit, but I was like, I think Phoenix Moon Moon Blast, I guess he got impatient. I was thinking about activating Phoenix Moon Moon Blast, like seriously, you sort to God, you can't even fucking think on here. Activating Phoenix Moon Moon Blast, pitching that, spin that back, uh, draw, switch another one, and then going Royal Storm, return those four, draw two. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing, at the end phase. Uh, anyway, opponent quit because he got too impatient, so let's get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, back. So, yeah, it's the universe. It's a pretty decent game, you know, it's been a cool minute since we got a good Dragon Ball Z game, and it's pretty good, I must say. Um, it's it's leaning more towards um, uh, Battle of the Gods gameplay-wise than, um, than... Go ahead and set that, set that, set that. Leaning more towards uh, Battle of the Gods than Tenkaichi. Um, if you were going to ask me, hey, Daniel, you know, Tenkaichi or, you know, Xenoverse, I'd definitely have to say Tenkaichi 3. That, that still is, in my opinion, the best Dragon Ball Z game yet. Um, that game is just f fucking phenomenal. Like, oh my god, like, I love that game. Alright, well, I can always Divine Wrath him and then go ahead and send. But this is only when it's for, sent for a volcanic, so I really can't take, I can't really can't utilize that really well right now. So I'll go ahead and flip the fire hand. I'm gonna hit him with like a bottom or something? No? Alright. Fire hand, go ahead and just fist my opponent here. Got warning, pulse bottomless. Oh. Think about Divine Wrathing you. Yeah. Go ahead and negate you. Because I know that you're trying to summon your fucking. Uh, monster. Uh, what's that guy? The fucking defensive shogun guy, whatever. The, the big booty guy. So, no thank you. How about not the big booty guy? No big booty guy. No. Dine Vine Wrath, Volcanics, and Burning Abyss? I mean, maybe. It's a counter trap. You know, 
and negates monster effects, period. So, you know, it can go ahead and uh, uh, negate some uh, some necros in the hands. It's not a terrible idea. So you're going to go ahead and crash into me. Getting 200, go ahead and summon your uh, Shogun guy. Yep, there he is. Yep, then he goes to defense. Oh, then you're going to attack me. Okay. Yes, occupy him. Destroy him. Unless you got one. Oh, you got the solemn warning. Okay. I didn't even know this deck played back row because I thought it played, you know, all the various super heavy samurai cards, but I guess not. Number generator is interesting. I'm definitely down on resources. I mean, I can always compulse him to the hand, but he might have that one guy that we can summon it from the hand anyway by tributing it, so... Ah, uh, it's not looking good right now. I didn't know he was going to have a solemn warning. Oh, well, I got reload. Awesome. And reload is awesome, so I can definitely utilize that. And go ahead and wipe him. So, I'll go ahead and play out the end of his main phase one. Let's see. This card is normal, so it can't change the battle, and it can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. What does this do? Target one super heavy samurai monster, equip it to that monster. Alright, gains a thousand defense during battle phase. Blah, 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 blah. You can blah, 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 blah. Okay. That still doesn't bother me with my plays right now. Then, right when you do that, I'm going to activate reload. Yes. No. Go ahead and pitch you. Draw, scatter shot. Yes. Did you see that weird wording all of a sudden? And then, all your monsters go bye bye. There we go. I handled that situation pretty decently. Good thing I had Compulse. Wish I had a shell or something. Never mind, there's a shell. I uh, was like, I wish I had a shell. Leave me in like this. Draw. Activate. And pay 500 to give me another shell. Still not sitting too pretty, but I'm sitting okay. I need more monsters. This deck runs monsters. I'm just not getting any right now. This would be a perfect time to get my royal. Run three of him, so it would be a great time. So the only problem with this deck is it doesn't have any searchers. You know, if there's a card that can search you some volcanics, you know, like a rota or something, like a rota for for pyro monsters, then maybe this deck would be a little bit better. You know? Then I could search for, you know, I can, you know, start up my, the consistency of the deck by searching for, uh, Uh, searching for a uh, rocket, I can uh, help the deck's uh, consistency by being able to search for uh, what's his face? What's his face? Uh, I can't remember the name of the fucking card. Ro royal, yeah, ro Royal. Wow, I just stated Royal and then I forgot Royal. Wow, I actually am up on resources now. Oh, that's totally my bad. Totally my bad. I should have. I didn't even think. I wasn't even paying attention to tell you the truth. Wasn't even paying attention. Go ahead and summon you. You. No. Yeah. Give me this one. Yeah, I'll crash. I have one more shell, so I'll go ahead and activate it. Pay 100. 
We're still even with resources right now. All right, so yeah, I'll crash. I'm still sitting pretty decently, besides not even paying attention. Because I, I could have vanities, but I wasn't even paying attention. I forgot I had vanities. I was busy talking. Totally busy talking. Yeah, so the new Dragon Ball Z game is good, but it's not, like, good. You know? You know, it's a fun play. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, an RPG. You know, you train up your character. You make your own characters. But it's, it's, it's a pretty decent game, I must say. You know? Pretty, pretty big fan of it. Let's play again. Okay, so you're just going to summon him and he's going to go to defense position. Okay, that's fine. Shit, my fucking kingdom for fucking getting royal. Well, that's not it either. I need my fucking royal. There he is. There you are. Please don't negate him, because I would love to get him. Ooh. Uh, I'll return. One, two, three. Four. Nope. Everything go back. Draw two. Awesome. Love that play. And then I will go ahead and activate the shell. Pay for hundred to get the shell that I just put back back in my hand. Not bad. And then I could pay you for reload again. And then if I could, when I'm getting ready, I can go ahead and activate one of my one of these down here and wipe your shit. So right now I'll, I'm just sitting pretty, sitting pretty with volcanics. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, I'm I'm I I like the game. I like the game. It's not Tenkaichi three good, but yes, it's Dragon Ball Z game we've been waiting for for a cool minute. I must say. Ah, uh, so I guess uh, now since that's done, let me go ahead and just talk about my day, because, hello, I didn't even talk about my day yet. So, you're going to go ahead and redox and revive your great Shogun guy. Um, go ahead and play Reload. So, go ahead and pick your shell, draw a card, cool. Okay. Go ahead and banish that to go ahead and send me my scatter shots again that I just returned. This only when it says when it's normal summoned? Yeah. Damn. But it seems like I would definitely like to utilize this more. 5, 15, 15, 15. I mean, 15, 15, yeah, pretty much 15, 500, 500, 500, take it. And then uh, you can proceed to scoopage. Book a moon, you got book a moon, my monster, why? Oh, okay, I about to say, there's really no point, yeah, and then scoop it up. There we go, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I mean, I wish I could utilize him more. That's what I'm trying to think right now. There's really no way for me to really utilize him more. Not really. This deck just has consistency. It's it's, it's consistent yet inconsistent at the same time. The cards that you want to get, uh, you have no way of getting. But the cards that you that sometimes you don't really want to get, you do. You know, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. I say it's a slow methodical deck. It'll one up you, but it just doesn't have a really way of getting what it needs to get in hand, you know? If I need Royal Guard, I better wait. You know, if I need to get, you know, Shell, I better wait, you know? Rocket can get Reload, so that's nice, but, you know, I better wait. <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of the deck, definitely. Um, we're going to get one more to one, but I'm just trying to think if there's any changes I want to make to the deck right now. Um, the thing is, I'm running Fiendish Chain, but I took out, what's it called? I took out the planter, which I'm not sure if I want to keep it in or leave it out. No, because sending this might be best at times. So I'll maybe try to squeeze it back in. I don't know. I'll try. Uh, so one more duel. Bear right back. All right, another duel. So I dropped Phoenix Wing Wind Blast two, and I dropped um, uh, Divine Wrath to two. Oh, Necros. Yep, so, 
He gets to drop all of that curb band. It won't get to do anything, but holy crap, he just got to escape a whole bunch. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of this deck, to tell you the truth. Oh, with the new Necros, uh, Lilith. Alright. He's running like the Void Dream and Infusions and shit like that. Been a cool minute since I've seen a Necro deck, so I'm interested to see what they can pull off. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about my Thursday before I fall behind. So Thursday I have, of course, Calculus and Algebra. Calculus? They are Calculus tests. I, I, I mentioned that, that I, was, I need to study up and I did. Uh, I really didn't study more like I just crammed and memorized. Like, pretty much, uh, I didn't study at all, to an extent. Uh, like, right before class started, I literally, I memorized the various shapes, the, hy the you know, ellipsoids and hyperbola. I memorized how to, you know, figure out which one is which, which ones are which. But the, like, the point to a plane to a line and all that, you know, vector shit, I literally, like, right before the test, like, when, while she was, like, handing out things and talking and handing out them, I was literally just like, okay, that's how you do this one, that's how you do this one, that's how you do this one, that's how you do this one. And I pretty much just crammed and, and uh, memorized how to do all of the various things. So when it came to the test, I knew how to do it, which was great. You know, I totally knew how to uh, uh, do those various things. All right, so what does Lilith do? Once, once per turn to approach to run another monster effect activate, you could tribute one monster and negate the activation if you do banish shit. Okay. That's fine. I mean, he banished a lot of his Infernoids, I must say. To summon this. So I said the big problem that I'm having right now is that he can negate my monster effects by attributing a monster, including uh, the you know the curry bandit. I'm thinking about summoning Firehand. Firehand, run over the curry bandit. Main phase two. Go ahead and activating blaster to pop the Lilith, in which case it'll just tribute itself, and then my fill will, the fill will be clear, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. You know, seems like a fine idea to me. Cause right, you negate monster effects. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and. Should I activate pot? No, I'll activate pot in main phase two because I'm going to search with volcanic shell after I pitch. Yeah, that seems fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, normal summon Firehand. Firehand, go ahead and run over the Curry Bandit. Main phase two, activate Blaster. No. Destroy a card. Go ahead and pitch you to, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter, so, uh, yeah, just so you'll tribute, which is totally fine, I mean, it's the same end result, tribute, or whatever, <sighs> then I will activate shell, search for shell, activate pot, grab whatever, oh, you know, same, it's the same result, you're going to the grave, that's all, I, I want you off the field, that's pretty much it, yep, Plus, you're like, oh, I'm negated, like, and. Let's go ahead and grab the deal. Activate pot. No. Oh, definitely vanities. Definitely vanities, because unless he has MST, then I pretty much win this duel. Hold A. As soon as your draw phase, before you even get your token, I'm going to play vanities. So you got MST? Are you playing Light Swords? I'm not even sure if you're playing Light Swords. I haven't seen any uh, Curry Bandits and stuff like that. Seems like you. It seems like a pure Inferno deck, especially with Void Lunch. Seems like you're not playing the Light Swords. So, you know, I'm not sure if you'll be able to summon like a Lilo or like a Raiden to take to run over my Fire Hand. You can't summon your tokens. You can't special summon any of your Infernoids. Uh, I mean, show me what you got at this point. Show me what you got. All right, you're gonna summon Curry Bandit, and and you're trying to excavate Slum. That's fine. Mm-hmm. So you excavate all the Infernoids and grab yourself a Reasoning, so you can play the Reasoning, but you still can't Special Summon. You know, like I said, I haven't seen any of your. I can't play the Foolish. I'm just going to go ahead and so what's it say? No card is sent from your deck or feel to the graveyard. All right, so if I go ahead and pitch, so I'm gonna go ahead and summon Rocket, activate Rocket, Rocket search me for reload, and uh, reload can go ahead and pitch me the shell which is in my hand, so that should be fine. 
But at this point, I can literally just take the duel pretty much pretty slow, unless he has to figure out a way to get rid of the vanities, and if he can't, then he loses, so. I'm not gonna play it foolish, because I don't want a card sent from my deck to the graveyard. Nor foolish, because foolish would be sent too. You know, are you just gonna play reasoning? You're just gonna go activate reasoning, excavate some more. No, I'm, I don't know what you're gonna do, Mr. Pure Infernoid player. I said, do I think that you know splashing in the light swords is the best is the better route? Yes. Do I think that too too much of the light swords is the better route? No, 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 no. There, there's an extent, you know. Uh, you know, you know, throwing in the lilas, throwing in the uh, uh, throwing in the ridens. Yes. Throwing in the throwing in the Shadal dragons. Yes. Uh. But uh, throwing in the, you know, like the solar recharges and shit like that, I'd probably have to say no. All right, so uh, I pretty much win this duel because of vanities. I don't know what you're saying to me. I do not speak whatever language you are speaking, but uh, yeah, you're pretty much locked out of the duel. So uh, that's why that's one of the reasons why you don't play pure infernoids. I don't know what you're saying. Saying, I, I'm sorry, I don't I don't speak the Espanolis. Something about Inglés, see. So there we go. There's I slap that easy button. Slap that easy button right now. All right. So I'm gonna continue talking because I want to talk about my Thursday so I don't fall behind when it comes, you know, telling you guys about my life. So test. Conceptual wise, oh my god, I got it. You know, if if I was graded purely on conception, like, do you understand the material? Do you understand how to do this? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Simple mistakes because I'm a genius yet an idiot. The calculus, oh yeah. Freaking first problem. It was three W minus V. Right? We're doing vectors. 3W minus V. On my paper, I wrote 3W three, three plus V and, and did it, too. So literally, the teacher, she just circled it and she's like, conceptualize, you got it. You just didn't read the problem right, Daniel. Like, oh, yep. Then another problem. I did all the calculus right. I did, you know, I did the, you know, the cross multiply and did all that. I messed up in my cousin part. I said 3 times 3 equals 6. Like, Daniel, like, come on, and it messed up my whole problem. So she circled that, and she's like, Daniel, what the heck, what the hell, three, three times six, three is not six, Daniel, like, I know, I'm doing calculus three, busting it out, 3D calculus, all of that, vectors, cross multiplying, all that good shit, three, three times three, fuck it up, wow, genius and an idiot. <laughs> Last mistake, that's my third mistake, usually, in previous semesters, she would, you know, Give you a problem, give you a whole bunch of space to do your work, and do and the, page, the tests would be like ten pages each, so instead of doing that, which would cost a lot of printing and, you know, that was very frowned upon on her part. Instead, she did differently in which she would just give you a whole bunch of blank scratch paper and she would give you the work and you wouldn't write on the blank scratch paper. You would do your work and, you know, box your answers and do that. So the problems were so close together worded that I was on eight and I did the normal line of eight. Well, oh, I was supposed to do the normal line of eight. I accidentally did the normal line of nine because they were so close and I quickly glanced. So... That's my third mistake. So she circled that. So she's like, these are simple mistakes. Conceptualize, you got it. But, you know, simple mistakes. I'm not, she's like, you know, each problem of these is worth like, you know, 12 to 20 points. I'm only going to take like one to two points off. So I'm still, you know, besides that, I got like 100%. So I still got the A, plus I did the extra credit at the end, which was 10 points. So I think I got 100, over 100%. So I think I did fine. So me worrying and being like, oh, I need to study and do all that. I still did fine, which is great, you know. So... I'm just, I'm a genius, yeah, I'm an idiot. You know, it's the simple things that catch you off guard. You know, I must say, when you're in calculus, and if you guys are going to do calculus, it's not the calculus that will catch you off guard. It's the algebra and the simple arithmetic that will just trip you up, you know? You're just doing all this calculus, and you're making sure that your calculus is right, that, you know, the, getting the simple algebra and the simple arithmetic just get thrown out the window, because you need to make sure that you got the calculus right. It's, it, it's funny. So, I still did pretty well, and I'm still proud of myself for it. Um, I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, algebra, we're learning about slopes, you know, you know, M, slope, you know, rise over run, simple shit like that. <gasps> Shocker. So, yeah, that's it. I just did my uh, calculus homework. I just started on my calculus homework, which was like, uh, uh, arc length? Yeah, arc length. So, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call So, So, uh, like I said, this deck it seems like it's working out fine, you know. Uh, the magical, the planter seems like it would work out fine as well. You know, we got the Phoenix chain. Sometimes I want to go ahead and send my uh, Blaze accelerator so I can go ahead and have it in the graveyard to go ahead and do that. So like I said, I put the, I put 
Earlier in the day, I was running three Divine Wrath and three Karma Cut to make sure I got them because I wanted to use them. But I go ahead and cut them down to, and I put in two planters. And I think that the deck is actually looking really good. You know, from the first episode where I was just like, how the fuck is this tier 1.5? Where it's kind of really not. You know, it I mean, even, I'd say, as a stun deck, I'd say even, um, you know, Hermit Yokai is better. Or Yusenju is a better stun deck than this. But uh, it's a fun deck. It's a fine little deck, you know. Um, it's fun. You know, it's more of my cup of tea controlling the duel. And, uh, yeah, so I think I pretty much got it. So we're just going to keep it on here until I get bored of it. But for right now, it's fun. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Omega Chaos and Slate using products. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.